We're reading Winnie the Pooh. Disney, wonderful world of reading. Not really oh. by anybody. Yeah. Oh. Under Acre Woods, this sweet tell of friendship and honey belongs to... Who does it belong to? I believe it's Christopher Robin. Winnie the Pooh, story adoption by Nancy Parent, and illustrations by the Disney Storybook Artist. Oh, he's getting, trying to get some honey. Okay. So, this is the story of how Winnie the Pooh and his friends in the Hundred Acre Wood try to help Eeyore find a tail. They discovered that helping isn't always easy. One morning, Winnie the Pooh and his rumbly tummy woke up to find that all of their honey pots were empty. Now, this was rather bothersome to both the bear and his tummy. So, Pooh went out into the hundred acre wood to find some honey. Pooh soon came upon his friend Eeyore. Sadly, Eeyore didn't have any honey. He didn't have any tail either. Wanting to help, Pooh declared, I will find your tail. Then I shall get some honey. Just then, the friends heard Owl's voice drifting down. When Owl heard about Eeyore's missing tail, he wanted to help too. So the three friends went to find Christopher Robin. Here's Christopher Robin. Exhibit A. All right. Everyone soon gathered at the boy's house, and he announced a contest. Whoever found a suitable tail for Eeyore would win a delicious pot of honey. Pooh was very excited to help Eeyore and win the honey prize for his tummy. He thought perhaps his Pooh-Koo clock might make a perfect tail for Eeyore. And so it did until Eeyore sat down. Crunch! Piglet offered Eeyore his friend Balloon as a tail, but it didn't work quite as well as expected. Floating away. It's okay, mumbled Eeyore after trying out several more tails. I'll learn to live without it. Afterward, Pooh continued his search for honey. He stopped at Christopher Robin's house, but the boy wasn't there. But there was a note which Pooh took to Owl. Hmm. Owl helpfully read the boy's note aloud. Gone out, busy Baxen signed Christopher Robin. Owl gasped. <gasps> Our dear friend Christopher Robin has been captured by a creature called the Baxen. Tail. <laughs> uh, then Owl explained. It's malicious, ferocious, and worst of all, terribly busy. Then he drew a picture of a horrible monster with shaggy fur and sharp horns. Rabbit quickly came up with a plan that he thought might help. They would collect things the Baxen might like and leave a trail of them, leading the Baxen to a deep pit. Then, when the Baxen fell into the trap, they would be able to get Christopher Robin back. While everyone collected backs and things, Pooh and Piglet dug a hole and covered it. Meanwhile, Tigger tried to help by catching the Baxen on his own. He soon came upon an unsuspecting Eeyore. You and me are going to catch that Baxen, Tigger declared. We just need you, uh, Tigger, get tick tick Tigger, rise. Looking great, 
said Tigger, admiring his work. Then, because Tiggers are bouncy, he showed Eeyore how to bounce up and down, but mostly up. T next, Tigger dressed up like a Baxen so that Eeyore could practice sneaking up on one. But Eeyore had soon had enough Tiggerizing. He bounced away and hid. Tiger searched everywhere for Eeyore but could only find his springy tail. The Baxen must have found Eeyore, Tigger thought. He didn't realize that Eeyore didn't want to be found by a Baxen or a Tigger. <coughs> Meanwhile, Pooh and his friends headed for the Baxen trap, but Pooh's tummy was so hungry that he began seeing honey pots everywhere. Suddenly, Pooh spotted a real honey pot in the middle of a picnic bl blanket. His rumbly tummy may had made Pooh forget that the honey pot picnic was really the Baxen trap. Whoosh! Pooh fell into the trap, loading, landing with a thud. We caught the Baxen! exclaimed Rabbit upon seeing the trap. But the friends soon discovered that the back son was actually a Pooh Bear. Just then, Eeyore arrived wearing an anchor as his latest tail. Wanting to help, Rabbit suggested they use the anchor to rescue Pooh. But when they threw it into the pit, it dragged them in too, all except Piglet. Rabbit suggested that Piglet go to Christopher Robin's house and bring back his jump rope to pull them out. Little Piglet was rather nervous, but he wanted to help, so he ventured into the dark wood. Suddenly, he saw a red-eyed monster, but it was only Balloon stuck in a tree. Piglet freed Balloon just as an enormous shadow fell over them. <gasps> Baxen, Piglet stammered. It wasn't the Baxen, though. Only Tigger. Piglet was in such a hurry to get away that he and Balloon sailed up, up, up into the air, with Tigger following. No sooner had Piglet spotted the pit down below than he bumped into the giant words from this very storybook down into the pit. The friends tumbled. <laughs> along with the letters. Now everyone was stuck, so Owl began to tell a story. Then Balloon floated away, and the friends thought they would never get out. Luckily, Pooh noticed a honey pot at the edge of the pit. Using the letters around him, the hungry bear built a ladder and climbed out. Unfortunately for Pooh and his Tommy, the honey pot was empty. He tossed the pot away. It landed with a thump on Owl's head. Just then, Rabbit noticed Pooh's letter ladder. We, we can get out, he cried. <laughs> Outside the pit, the friends discovered Christopher Robin and Balloon. How did yeah. you escape the Baxen? Rabbit asked. But Christopher Robin didn't even know what a Baxen was. After Pooh showed him the note, Christopher Robin explained that he had written back soon, yeah. not back son. Yeah. It had all been a silly misunderstanding. See, that's what he wrote. <laughs> busy. He spelled busy wrong. Gone out. Busy. Hmm. Everyone headed home. On the way, Pooh stopped at Owl's, hoping to find Honey there, as he tugged on Owl's new bell rope. Pooh thought there was something familiar about it. Owl explained that no one seemed to want this rope he had found hanging over a thistle bush. Somebody did want it, Owl, said Pooh. Eeyore. Owl agreed. Oh. I was just 
keeping it safe for him. <laughs> Sapu took the tail to Eeyore without eating so much as a smackerel of honey. Eeyore, Eeyore watched, <laughs> everyone watched Eeyore try on his tail. Pink bows, a nice touch, he decided. Swish is real good too. Bring out the grand prize, shouted Christopher Robin, presenting Pooh with an enormous pot of honey. That's a big pot of honey. So, in the end, Winnie the Pooh put his friend before his tummy and helped Eeyore. And though it wasn't easy, Pooh found that helping was the sweetest reward of all next to honey, that is. A sweet ending. Pooh helped Eeyore find his tail. Now look back in the book and help Pooh find all these. Oh man, alright. Or visit that site, but... Five. Honey pots in a chair. Okay. Honey pots in a chair. Oh, there they are. Honey pots in a chair. Right there. That was on page three. Um, honey pot on a blanket. Let's see here. Right there. Honey pot. Oh, it's kind of on a blanket. But it's on a shovel too. Let's see. Right there. Honey pot on a blanket. Alright, back to the end. Um, three. Oh, we saw that. Um, that was Eeyore with his clown tail. Found that. That's on page 12. Um, the flying Tigger backs in. Let's, oh, that's on page 33. And the giant pot of honey with poo inside it is right here the last page he's in page 41 doing that and that is it Winnie the Pooh